Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with the fifth video in our Platinum Trophy Guide for the Shadow of the Colossus remake. In the last video we had done everything that we could possibly do before heading into New Game Plus, and then we ended up forgetting about one little trophy that you can do, and anyways did it. But for now, what you want to mainly do is you have a couple of options that you can do here. For one, you can just do what we're about to go through. You can wait to do this until the very end if you truly want to, but I'd recommend doing it now. Or you can wait to do what we're about to do and instead do your hard playthrough and beat it in under 5 hours and, what was it, 30 minutes I believe? Which shouldn't be too hard, but do remember that on hard, the some of the Colossus have an additional sign to destroy, so it'll take a little bit longer to defeat. Some are pretty much the same, but you will take more damage, you know, stuff like that. But for now, what we're going to talk about is the time trials. So now you're in New Game Plus, you can come up to these statues, and you can find that you can pray at them. Like so. And this will let you challenge the Colossus. And then at any point, you can do that. Um, if you haven't gotten the trophy for the third Colossus, then you can get that one for not breaking his wrist. You can also get the one for the eighth Colossus for getting it in one go. Now, if you want to, really up to you, or you can wait. But basically what you want to do is complete all of the time trials, but do not touch any of the items that get dropped in that very back pool. That will come in handy, and there is a reason for that. So... As of now, I'm just going to skip to when I have done all the time trials, and we'll show you what it should look like in the end. So I'll see you then. Alright, so once you've done all of the 16 Colossus time trials, you'll notice that back here at the pool, there will be 8 glowing distinct little circles that you can interact with or pick up using R2, but don't do that. So what you want to do is simply make a manual save. I recommend having 2 just in case, because you never know things go wrong you want to overwrite the current save that you're playing on that way it updates that you've done all the time trials and then a second manual save just because it never hurts to have a backup to do that basically all you'll want to do is just go and make a new save and then just overwrite it so now what you're actually going to do is quit out to the main menu uh. <laughs> then what you're going to do is select New Game Plus on hard, and then you're going to load either one of the saves that you want. Since they're both the same, you don't have to worry. Then you're going to pick hard, and then do a original world. Hopefully, w and when you load in, once you skip all the cutscenes and stuff, done correctly. This will allow you to actually instead pick up all of the hard time trial items. That way you don't actually have to do that, as some of the hard time trials can be very frustrating. Especially if you're playing on the <laughs> PS3 version of the game, or even PS2. That's So if you get this cutscene towards the back here, you'll know it worked. As you'll see right there. Almost done. It'll just have to go through showing you all of these again. There we go. But once you do this, you'll have all of the hard time trials, and then I do believe you can go back to the normal save and then pick them up. You'll also want to resave, of course, that way it gets you the items. You'll know if you've done it right, as you'll end up getting the Queen's Blade, which is one of the items you can only get. You'll end up getting the Queen Sword. 
that is a the strongest weapon in the game and is a reference to the previous game that the original team made called Ico. The Queen Sword will be the last one that you get. Just for the sake of showing you guys, I am going to pick up all these and just have the cutscenes play out so you can see what items that you get, so you know. I wish you could skip these, but at least see what the items were that you're picking up. Oh well. But finally now, on to the last one. <laughs> and here you see the Queen Sword. <laughs> Basically, it just takes one hit to each symbol to completely destroy it on any Colossus. So from here basically all you're going to want to do is just make a manual save of whatever save that it is that you want to have be on hard as you'll whenever you look at the save it'll say hard plus instead of just normal plus. We'll make sure you overwrite the save data, of course. Then from here, one of the trophies that you can get is... If you defeat a Colossus with the Queen Sword, you will get a trophy. But from there, I'm now just going to skip to that. As, as you can see, <laughs> we have all the fruits that we can see, which don't worry about. 
going to go over that in just a moment. For now, I'm going to skip to me defeating the first Colossus with the Queen Sword and getting the trophy. So I'm going to see you once I do that. Alright, so once you do that, you'll get the trophy, Sword of Her Majesty, and now I'm going to see you back once we are at the, um, the shrine, so yeah. So from here, actually, what you're going to do is now load your normal plus, the save that you had gotten all of the um, time attacks done on, and once you do all that and then collect all the items from that, I'm going to see you once that is done. As you can see on hard plus, it says you only have... Depending on how long it takes you to do the first Colossus, I stumbled a bit, but once you do that, um, I will talk to you then, as there will be another trophy related to two trophies that you'll earn, one for getting all the normal time attacks now, and then you will have something related to the um, one of the items that you get from normal time attack. So once again, I'm going to skip to getting all the items, and I'll see you then. Alright, so small update, you will probably still have to do the hard time attacks for it to actually count as you doing them, but you'll still have the items, which will make your life a little bit easier for anything else that you might have to do, especially if you do it on hard. I think it does consider that you already have the items. I will verify and then see. But for now, what you're going to do is, once you have the exploding arrow, gonna just find that shining lizard that we found the first time here this will cause it to fall and upon doing so you should get a, another trophy <laughs> called trick arrow skills now once again I'm now going to check to see if you can use the queen sword in time attack on hard mode just to see you know just to make sure that it works and that your life can be made a little easier Alright, so I did figure out the solution to it. So you can't use the items in time attack on hard. So what you will do is, once you get all of the hard time attack items by doing the save, going on to hard plus, and then getting the items, having the um, queen sword, what you'll end up doing is you'll start, you'll do the same process, but then you'll just go back to normal. So you'll do new game plus. You'll then load the hard save. You'll then put it on normal, original, and you will have to refight all 16 Colossuses on normal again, but that shouldn't be too bad. So then when you do that, you'll see, once I load in of course, come on. You'll see that I have all of the items, and that I am on normal. T to know if you're on normal, whenever you come to the first shrine, it'll be about the same time. The only difference is that uh, there won't be the symbol on his right arm. The one to know um, exactly is you can look at some of the other ones. They'll have a little more time than others. So yeah, so all you'll have to do is you'll just have to redo all of the normal time attacks, and then the items will be back in the pool, and then you'll just have to repick them up, and then you will have all 16 items on one save, instead of it being on two separate saves. That's where I misinterpreted what the trophy was, so that's on me. So for now, I'm just going to switch to once I do that, and I will see you guys then. Alright, so now once you have officially gotten all 16 items on a single save, by going back and forth between the hard and then doing the normal, having to fight the normal Colossus at least twice, so in total 32, and then I would definitely recommend switching back to hard mode, so then the last couple of trophies that you're going to have to do is one is for, like I said, for beating hard mode. 
in less than a certain amount of time which since you now have the queen sword and going into new game plus resets the timer you'll be fine if not then you'll just have to do a normal hard playthrough without any of the items which at this point i think you have enough skill and know-how to do that but from here you're basically just going to keep playing the game until you get max health and max stamina you'll get a gold trophy for that and then from there there's only a couple more things that you have to do two in particular that i will go over in this video as well this will be the last and final video for this series but for now just work on beating the game on hard really fast work on getting your max health and max stamina they'll be pretty long and then we'll go from there all right now once you guys have finally gotten your max stamina and all that and you have your max health and have gotten the trophy for the intrepid mortal there's two trophies left that you will have to do also by now you should have beaten the game on hard as fast as possible and so the best method that i found to do there's two options that you can do the one i used is basically you fight the first two colossus you'll then just because i'm ocd i make a manual save and then you quit game you'll then start up a new game plus on normal then you'll reload that save and then refarm the first two Colossus. It'll carry over your health and stamina. There's be a lot of times where you don't notice it, but it'll happen. Another thing to help do is if you want to use the other method and you just go and fight all of the Colossus again over and over again, which I don't recommend. I would at least recommend going up to maybe 8, maybe, or at least anywhere to 13. Because the last three Colossus take the most amount of time to do. And if you beat the 16th Colossus, you do have the whole ending cutscene, which can take upwards of like 20 minutes. So don't do that. But if you want to do that, go to whatever Colossus you like. And then while you're doing that, if you happen to come across any of the fruit trees, get those. Because that'll let you know once you reach the max health sooner. So then you'll be able to keep track of your stamina. But once you're done with that... You're then going to want to come around to the side yeah. of the yeah. shrine on the left side. And we're going to get the last two trophies for the game. And upon doing so, you will get the platinum trophy. The last one will take a very long time, just because it's a lot of walking. But anyways, you'll see this giant green moss-covered pillar in front of me. That's what we're going to do. So you're basically just going to follow the path that I end up taking, and this will reach the top, and then I will go from there. All right, and once you have made it here, the first thing you want to do is head up the staircase like you see 
in the ending cinematic, and you'll head up to this very specific forbidden forest. Or not forest, but garden, I should say. Not forest. And from here, you're just going to want to get one of the fruits. There will be some specific ones, but you just need to get one. The reason why you just want one is simply because every single one of these fruit that you eat will actually lower your max health. As you'll see, your health goes down, and you'll get a trophy for that, though. Fruit of the Garden. And then the last thing that you have to do, and like I said, it's going to be a long one, is we have to cross that bridge all the way across that bridge. Now luckily the fruit that you ate can easily be replenished by just going and getting some normal fruit from the game. So do not worry about it being too much of a hindrance. This is why I saved these two trophies for last, is they're going to be the last things that you want to do. So from here, I'm going to head across. I'm going to see you once I'm all the way over there. I'm not going to have a time lapse of me walking this. There's no way. But I'll see you once I'm there. Alright, but once you make it all the way across the bridge, as you can see right here, pretty far away. But once you make it here and reach, I believe it's about right here is the trigger point. You can try and go through but it won't ever let you. But once you do that, you will get the trophy called the Gate, and then you will get the Platinum Trophy immediately after called the Horned Boy. Now, I just want to say thank you guys to everybody who has made it this far and watched all of the guides all the way to the end and told me things that I could improve upon them and stuff like that. Short, but thank you guys to, every, to everybody who watches, everybody who leaves nice comments. It helps make me want to keep doing this. But, as always, I will see you guys once we make it to the next video. Goodbye.